Eat Plant Fam. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. If you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So today I have a new product that I'm trying out. I literally just took it out of the box. It's from a company called Inkbird and it is called Smart Indoor Air Quality Monitor. So I am just trying to get into this packaging and I don't know a ton about it like off the top of my head aside from it measures temperature, it measures humidity, but it also measures the air quality in your space and I really am eager to get into like how this thing works. I know you can like use an app to control it. Um, I don't know what it is that I would need to control on it. It would be great if I could just like actually get it out of the packaging too. Oh, scissors. Those would help. So Inkbird did send me this product to try. This is a sponsored video, but I will be giving you my honest opinion. Um, so thank you Inkbird for sponsoring this video. We always appreciate a sponsor around here. Um, and hopefully you guys find this product as interesting as I found it to be. And hopefully we can get some good use out of it. Cause like the hygrometers and stuff that I have in here, they're really cheap and they're not accurate. Um, I can have two like right next to each other. Like I do right over here. One says 53%, one says 54%, which like actually isn't that large of what it usually is. Okay. Let's get in here. It comes with batteries which is nice. Don't have to worry about it. And apparently the batteries last a long time. Ink bird. Okay, we have some instructions. Not that I, ooh, it's pretty. Not that I'm good at reading instructions, but we have instructions. So, okay, this thing feels fancy. I think you can like mount it on the wall. I'll probably just stick it on my shelves in the bedroom. All right, let's see what this says. Among various indoor gases, CO2 is the gas that best represents indoor air quality. High concentrations of CO2 can cause headaches, fatigue, rapid heartbeat, and shortness of breath. Prolonged exposure to high levels of CO2 may have negative effects on the respiratory system and may even lead to diseases such as tracheitis and pneumonia. Therefore, it is vitally important to maintain an appropriate range of indoor CO2 concentration for the sake of health. That's why we introduced the IAM T1 Smart Indoor Air Quality Monitor that helps you stay safe and healthy. Okay. Equipped with the world's leading Sense Air air sensor, it ensures high accuracy, high performance, and ultra low power consumption with precise and stable detection of indoor air quality. Four year ultra long battery life. Okay, well, I mean, at least they give you the batteries. Um, you can hook it up with Bluetooth and use the mobile app. Um, it'll record data for 30 days and transfers it to the mobile app via Bluetooth for backup and displays historical data in a visual form through charts. In addition, it also allows users to observe, compare, and analyze long-term monitoring data. That's really interesting. I guess that makes sense why you would have it um, hooked up with Bluetooth. I was like, I don't understand why I would need that, but that's, that's pretty cool. With high contrast, 180 degree, no dead angle visual experience, provide, it provides accurate and clear CO2 concentration level indication making it easy for users to understand the current air quality. Okay, okay, do we have instructions? Yeah, you can just put it on a table or you can put it on the wall. I don't know how to open it. It's to put the batteries in. I think it also has like an alarm that'll sound if you like are at dangerous levels of CO2, which is really interesting. Um, there's like, all these colors here too so I'm assuming it's going to show you like where you are on the range of like dangerous air quality like not great air quality and like good air quality so I really like this design I think it's pretty <laughs> it's like aesthetically pleasing which is nice but I can't figure out how to get the batteries in it 
There's like a tabby here at the bottom, but I'm afraid I'm gonna break something if I like force it open. Oh, 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 I got it. <laughs> I figured it out. Okay, and then we have like an on off button and then a button where we can change the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna say on. Oh, look, our screen is on. Pretty. And I'm gonna let this sit for the rest of the day and then I will come back later or like tomorrow morning maybe and show you guys what it is looking like. So right now it says I'm at 772 parts per, I don't know what the M stands for, meter. <laughs> parts per million. Duh, I said meter, stupid. <laughs> All right, so let's see what it means. When the progress bar is within the green part, the CO2 concentration level is in a good state. When the progress bar is within the yellow part, the concentration is within a medium state. And when it's in the red part, it is in an unhealthy state. So we're like, mm -hmm. we're in the green, but like barely. So and it's also saying that it's 77 degrees in here and we're at 66% humidity, which um, I don't know. I have to go look at the thermostat to see if that matches up. But I think maybe I'll just like, I'll leave it here for right now and see how it changes. I just don't know how to put on auto calibrate. It says auto calibrate, but I don't know how. Oh, it changed to Celsius. Oh, there's fun. The screen goes. Oh, <laughs> that's changed to Celsius and back to Fahrenheit. Um, I don't know how to put it on auto calibrate. So hopefully it will still automatically like do stuff. Why do I feel like the CO2 has gone up? Is that because I'm talking too much? <gasps> I'm gonna leave it right here on the shelf for the rest of the day. And then we're gonna come back and see what it says and I will leave this linked down below for you guys if you want to check it out um I should have like discount code all of that information like I said this video is sponsored by Inkbird thank you Inkbird for sponsoring this video um so I will definitely keep you updated so stay tuned it's gonna be a little while for me but it's just gonna be a second for you I'll see you in a little bit and see how this thing is working so far we're at 794 has it gone up it's gone up since we turned it on right but i'm curious right now we're at 794 parts per million 77 degrees fahrenheit and 66 percent humidity which i'm having a hard time believing because these ones over here say like 52 and 54 and now i'm like I really need to get a more accurate hygrometer for inside of my reptile enclosures. But I'm going to leave it here and see how it goes. And then I'm kind of curious to move it to the bedroom and see if it's going to be different in there. But I feel like we have to give it some time and see where it lands. Oh, I'll see you in a minute. Thermostat actually says 77 because I haven't had the stuff on because I was recording. And this one says 78. So it is actually quite accurate. So now I'm thinking maybe it is 65% humidity in here. <laughs> I think it like, it does that when it changes. We're at 758 now. So it definitely seems to be like going up and down, which I assume is fairly normal. Like the CO2 levels aren't gonna always be consistent in this space. But I'm curious to see if they go up at night because I, plants actually release CO2 at night. So now I'm kind of curious to see if this will go up or down later tonight. So I will obviously update you <laughs> as we go. Okay, fam. So it's been like a little over a week I want to say since I unboxed this um in Inkbird smart indoor air quality monitor <laughs> with you guys 
and it's been fully functional and doing its job. So what I have noticed is that, um, well, first of all, my CO2 is pretty much always like sitting right here. Um, the only time that it changes and goes up into the yellow is when there's a bunch of people in here and everybody's breathing. <laughs> but I have noticed that it doesn't go up at night or anything like that. Um, it stays pretty consistent. So that whole like your plants give off CO2 at night, I think is just like an old wives tale. Like they do, but like not enough for it to be like dangerous because I've got a lot of plants in here. And this thing would tell me <laughs> if I had too much CO2 in my home. Um, I also downloaded the app. So like you're able to, I'll put it here. You are able to see everything that you see on here on your phone. So you can have all that info like on your phone. Um, if you're not home and you're like, just want to look at it or you just like don't want to get up and look at this thing, you can look at it on your phone. And it also like tracks all of the data for you. So I can look at um, like how it fluctuates throughout the day and throughout the night without having to like, just like check it all the time. So it does keep track of that for you, which I do think is really interesting. And as I've been holding it and talking, it's, go it's going up. The temperature is also going up because our air conditioner is broken. So it's, it's getting hot in here. I know I'm in a sweatshirt, but it's starting to get pretty toasty in here today. But I did just want to conclude this video. So thank you again to Inkbird for sending me this product. They do also sell like lots of other stuff. And I didn't know that they also sell like thermostats and hygrometers for like your reptiles and stuff like that. So I'll leave all of this linked down below for you guys. Definitely check out like the whole company and like the other stuff that they sell. Um, I do think that this could be really beneficial for understanding the air quality in your home, plus the temperature and the humidity on here are far more accurate than any of the cheap hygrometers that I have around the house. So I've actually been keeping this in the bedroom to better monitor the temperature and the ambient humidity around my reptiles. So I do find this really helpful for that. Also, I apologize for all the noise. <laughs> all the windows are open and there's construction going on outside. So that is it for this video. Again, thank you Inkbird for sending me this product. This video is sponsored, um, but I am really enjoying it. It's very well made. The batteries last a long time. You can hang it on the wall if you need to. I've just been sitting it on the shelves but I really appreciate this device. So if you enjoyed this video, you should definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There is a join button down there if you wanna be part of the official plant fan. Get yourself some perky perks, like early access to my sales. My members get pre-sale access to majority of my inventory so and you get your own extra content and all that good stuff if not there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me everything is appreciated cannot do this without you guys um i love you so so very much i hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world hopefully your air conditioner works <laughs> um don't forget to be kind, don't forget to drink your water, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!